today we're gonna go to uh, Hebangchon. Hebangchon is like one of the foreigner areas. It's kind of like the residential foreigner area. There's Itaewon where you do all the shopping. Yonggi-dan is uh, kind of more like a bunch of places to eat. And next to it is Hebangchon, which is like the residential area. So today we're in Hebangchon and you know I'm a little disappointed because the plan was to shoot some street photography in the snow you know uh, actually this year has been pretty dry but as you can see there's actually no snow no sleet no hail no rain nothing but we're already here and I thought it'd be a good idea to at least give you guys a tour because you can get some pretty nice pictures here and there's still like the floors are still kind of wet the ground's still pretty uh reflective so hopefully we can get some nice pictures anyways once again we're in uh Hebangchon. if you come this way be sure to take the little minibus up because it is quite a climb but yeah let's see what we can get So the area that we're in right now is actually uh, this is pretty cool if you're a hipster but actually I'm not really a big fan of gentrification because they just kind of push out all the residents and drive up all the prices and all the good stuff leaves but this area is actually pretty cool and I think if you come to Hebangchon you'll like it. I'm pretty sure it'll look great on a rainy day but, but as you guys can see there's uh, there's no snow or anything today but it's fine I'll give you guys a tour.
I want to talk a little about photography a little bit because you know a lot of people have uh, misconceptions about how I shoot not necessarily the way other people shoot but here are my thoughts like when I take pictures at night not every picture I take is amazing you know like I take sometimes hundreds of shots a night you know I've shown you guys in other videos I take hundreds of shots a night uh, I mean I have a digital camera so I'm obviously gonna shoot a lot uh, it's, it's not film right so if you got a film camera you take a picture you gotta be really careful with the shutter but like if you have a digital camera you can just uh, camp at a spot and keep taking pictures you know keep waiting for the right moment and the right person to walk by it's all right you know that's what I do maybe I get home I got like 700 pictures and maybe I'll get like one good picture out of every 30 so that's just my take on it and I want to throw that in there so yeah, I think it's a good place to call it quits. If you're new, subs you're new to the channel, subscribe, leave a comment, like, all that good stuff. And I'll see you around.